Okay, in this problem, we've got a ground. Here, let's do this in black. We've got a ground here, and we've got a trailer. And we've got the trailer hooked up to the car. And obviously this trailer is going to have wheels, but it's still going to have friction. Now we've, we're given a few things in this problem. The question is, if the car is to accelerate the trailer, to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.0 seconds. What must the applied force B from the car on the trailer. Now there's one more complication and the complication is mu kinetic coefficient of friction. Well in this case it's not really kinetic because there's wheels so we'll just say mu uh, is equal to 0.3 between the trailer and the ground. And also, we're given the mass of the trailer, and that is equal to 565 kilograms. So what are we looking to find? The applied force, so F applied. And where is that applied force going to be? It's going to be right there, F applied. Okay, so let's, now obviously there's also going to be friction going the other way. Let's now write down the summation of the forces. Okay, summation of the forces is F net. And we can say, all right, well, let me take this direction as being positive. So therefore, I can say, you can still kind of see that, uh, F applied minus force of friction is equal to MA. Now, what am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for this guy here. So therefore, I can simply say applied force is going to be MA plus force of friction. And in this case, the force of friction is going to be mu mg. Okay? Uh, remember, force of friction general equation is mu Fn, but in this case, you see the normal force Fn and gravity are going to be equal and opposite. So mg is going to equal fn. So in this particular situation, because we're on a horizontal surface, uh, fri force of friction is going to be equal to mu mg. So I've put that in there. And by the way, you can also simplify this a little bit simpler by factoring out the m and going a plus mu g. That's the applied force. However, we've got a problem we don't know what A is. We know what mu is, but we don't know what A is. So now this is, remember, this is a kinematics problem now. We're going to have to figure out what the A is supposed to be. Now what are we given? Well, we're given the initial velocity is zero. We're going to assume that, okay? If the, if the car is to accelerate the trailer to 100 kilometers per hour, it doesn't really say it's from zero, but we have to assume that in four seconds. 
So I've got a few equations that I can choose from for acceleration. But the one that I think is going to be the easiest is this one. Initial velocity is zero. Get rid of it. And we're looking for a. So we can say a equals v final divided by t if this is zero. And v final is 100 kilometers per hour. Be careful. That's not meters per second. We have to now divide that by 3.6 to get meters per second. And we divide all that by 4 seconds. And that's going to give us 100 enter 3.6 divided by 4 divided by. And that's going to give us an acceleration of 6.94 meters per second squared. And now look what I do. I simply take this equation here and I put in my values. 565 kilos for the mass times an acceleration of 6.94 meters per second squared plus what was my mu right there 0 0.3 0 0.3 times 9.8 meters per second squared and now my final answer for the applied force must be Let's plug it through our calculator. Uh, 0.3 enter, 9.8 times, plus 565 times. And we're going to get a thrust, sorry, not a thrust, but applied force of 5,584 point seven. Now, we can also change this, make it 5.58 uh, uh, kilonewtons. There you go. So that's how much applied force needs to be applied to the trailer uh, by the hitch. Basically, this is usually some kind of a hitch. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that problem. And that's the solution right there. See you next time.